Look at them big catfish in there, boo. Well, now we've caught them just in the last 30 minutes. That's why we got them in the live. We're always catching them back to back. And I'm Dave, I'm with J.R. Hall for Black Sheep Guide Service. I've fished with J.R. several times, and you can go back and look at some of the other videos, catch some giant fish. And I got Ed Tomlin, good buddy of mine. He's running the camera right now. Out here is an old kind of river channel. Okay. Uh, I like to put the boat almost right on the center of these lines and then oh, work my way up. Yeah. This is just where we started last time. And like I said, we, we were catching fish okay. within three or four minutes. So we're just going down a little bit further and going to drag right back down, real similar to where, where we just went and mm -hmm. see what happens. Oh, look at all these fish. These old catfish is laying down there, boy. 19 foot deep. Sure enough, 86 degree temp water temperature, see that? These are spread and planer boards. Yeah. And he makes custom sets. I had him do the black and white, just go with the color scheme. I use these big red clips. There's a couple different kinds. These here will cinch right on the line and they do not move. Just think of your like a, a slip cork on a uh, brim fishing. I don't want my cork to move. I don't want this to move. I want it to come in because I can just take it off. Yeah. Uh, if you ever get hung up and break off and you have those oh, okay. just, just pressure clips, you got to go chase your board down. You. Yep. Okay. So, That's why you like to hook them right yep. there. And the fish that we're wanting to catch will eat this whole, no questions asked, take right. off with it. There you go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that good? All right, I got him. Oh, yeah, he's pulling. This might be a real big one. He hit like a freight train. All I heard was, there he is, and then I heard drag feeling up. Oh my gosh, look what a shadow down in there. Oh yeah, this is a big one. Get him in that net. Oh Lord. Look at that big joker. <laughs> Look at this thing, boy. We not in. Oh, he said, oh, look out. <laughs> that was close. Look at that. Hi, right, JR. I appreciate it. Turn, turn the loose. All right. Let's just turn the loose. Good fish. What do you think, Adam? Well, we didn't, we didn't even I, weigh that 35, one. 40. 30, well, there you go. 35, 40. There you go. 35, 40 pounds. All right, JR. Uh, talk to us about the bait that you're using. Uh, you what would? we're using is. Uh, Tennessee River Skipjack. Yeah, uh, we yes. catch them the day before. On most of my trips, I always run fresh. I try not to ever uh -huh. use froze for anybody. Okay. Um, if you're gonna willing to pay me, you know, any kind of money to take you fishing, I'm gonna give you the best opportunity. So I I'll, I, I will cancel a trip if I can't get bait, fresh bait, just to take care of my customers. Mm -hmm. So I like using about a, a five to six inch bait yeah he just cut them in half yeah pretty much just cut them clear in half i say the tails just in case I, I need extra bait throughout the day i don't prefer to use them first okay i like the heads okay they're really bloody they can take a lot of little short bites like dink bites and stuff and yeah. still bleed still attract big fish yep. when you put them in the water i mean you'll almost see like a little seam sheen coming in the water from gotcha. them they're just super oily bait super mm. bloody bait right. and just what up and consistently having the best luck on so stuff. There's a fish right here, and he's kind of he's oh yeah he's is facing. Is that what that, that is right there? That's a like, shadow. Is that the shadow? That's the shadow. That's off what you're for. Okay. <clears throat> we got several fish. Just you can see them right here along the bottom. Mm -hmm. We got another one. Looks like another one. Some kind of fish right here coming up. Ooh, that's a pretty good one right there. Look like he's hungry. He might be. That's a good <laughs> fish right there. This is Solix 12. Uh, Used to be top of line. Now everybody's got them pretty much uh -huh. uh, for catfishing. Okay. You can you can fish whatever you're comfortable with. This is what I like the most. Uh, it, it's really good on images. Uh, I can show you some of the images I've gotten while catfishing. Oh. Okay. Like this one right here. Look at that. He ended up being about 55, 60 pounds. Did you ever catch him? Yeah. You caught that? Caught him right before he. Hit, about five minutes, we got a picture of him, and then he hit right. What? right behind the boat what is it a flat head it was a big blue big blue cat yeah so wow. we get all kinds of stuff on here man you can even see his fins a little bit yeah. another big flat head oh. uh well, you can kind of and you can kind of tell just looking see how the head's a little more sharper right, like a blue right, right. and where this big flat head here not so much of a hump on it just a big flat head yeah right here to the right <laughs> yes 
It's always the furthest one out. <laughs> He's coming to the top. Oh, oh, <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> oh did you see that? That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, Lord. This might be the biggest one of the day, y'all. This is a big fish right here, I'm telling you right now. He may weigh 70, 80 pounds. I can't tell. I just, I seen a big fin. Big, big old fin come up at you. It looked like a quarter mile out there, so yeah, I can tell yeah. how big it was. Look like a great white shark when he come on. He was a long way out there. Good oh, that's a good one. Oh, Lord, mercy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big one there. That's a big one. Come here. He said, you get up there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, we're going <laughs> to have to wait. <laughs> We gonna have to weigh this. Oh, another one, another one. There you go. Oh, get down. Hold on. Get down, Lord and mercy. We hit a water. up. Oh, God, King. Oh. <laughs> we got another. How would you look? Oh, Lord and mercy. I'm tore up, y'all. Clear the back real quick. I'm gonna put him in. We just line. got it bigger than. And now I got one. <laughs> oh, Lord. This, this is another big in here. This is another big one. This in here feels big even with that cork on it out, Johnny. You keep that cork on. Oh, Lord. JR and them putting Ed's in the live well. Shall I get this one in? Uh, no. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, now. Nah. Oh, look at the wake! Oh God! Y'all see him waller out there? Look! Look! Oh my gosh, y'all! Uh, oh my God! Look what a tail on that! You, you see that, Jr? Uh, oh my God! Uh, Ed just caught that giant. Uh, we just got this in here. Get him up! Another big. One. A good day. <laughs> oh, JR. Look at that. Good That's a good one there, too. <laughs> Lord of mercy, y'all. Uh, I mean, we have caught some giant catfish today. This makes fun. I don't know what number it is, but it's a big one. Look at that. That's one Ed just caught. That's one I just caught. Back to back, back to back. Woo! Folks, right here is kind of not JR tie. See that right there? That's called a snail knot. That's what you got to tie right there to hold these big catfish. Mm-hmm. Look what a big hook. <laughs> I've been catfishing for a long time and met a lot of great fishermen, biologists, and talked to. And uh, the general consensus is a catfish has to eat about 5% of its body weight at daily. The size fish we've caught today can eat a 5 to 10 pound carp, you know, mm -hmm. Just like one. that. Uh, down here is a lot of just real thread fin gizzard shad. So there's uh -huh. there's bait fish and there's all kinds of stripes are in here eating them. And okay. then catfish are eating both. Okay. Uh, catfish is typically the top predator out here. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen a catfish I regurgitate in a live well? <laughs> I, funny you say that. Uh, we had a tournament last year. I had some buddies that fished it, did real well. They had two big fish. And at the weigh-in, when he he lifted the lid up we got to figure out it was three coots and two 50 pound blue cats had coughed them up so coots, coots little ducks wow. about this big and wow. they, there were three of them laying in the live well wow. they'd done been co coughed back up if it can be eaten they'll eat it <laughs> what about that well folks i want y'all to look at here with some catfish <laughs> That's, we've had a heck of a time out here today folks look at here We've been turning these loose here. We just caught these like back to back to back. Yeah. We're going to weigh this one right here. That's probably one of Ed's biggest catfish. Them right there weighs probably 30, 40 pounds. What does he weigh? 46. 46 pounds. Yep. <laughs> Ed's done caught two 40 some pounders today. That's right. So anyway, good deal, Ed. Woo. All right, turn that big joker loose. Woo! Woo, the Lord have mercy. Look at that. She goes back down in there, boy, down in there deep of the Tennessee River out here. That's right. Well, folks, if you come out here with JR, make sure you don't wear your, you know, best pair of clothes you got. Because let me show you something here. See us right here. <laughs> Look down my leg here. 
Now these, am I, oh Lord, look at that. Don't wear your church clothes. No, uh -uh. Sure. don't wear your church clothes. Tell you right now, that right there, well, it's catfish what's left over of a, whatever they've been eating. <laughs> and it didn't come out the upper end of it, either come out the lower end. All right, JR, appreciate it, buddy. Absolutely, another blessed day to be out here. That's right. Blessed day to be Ready out. to do it again. Whew. Thank you. We'll see you next time. That was, that was good stuff.